Have you ever wanted to do momentary snapshots on your Helix? If you do, then stay tuned, because we're gonna do it right now. What's up Helix users? Welcome back to another video for your Line 6 Helix. Today I wanted to talk about doing momentary snapshots. For those of you that don't know what momentary is, that means when you press a foot switch, something happens, and when you release the foot switch, something happens. People use this for effects if they want a delay on only one single note, but they don't want to have to press twice on and off. You can just press it, hold it, and as long as you hold it down, the effect or the preset or the snapshot, well not the preset, the snapshot will stay on until you release. So for the moment that you're holding down the foot switch, the affected thing is happening. So we can do this with our regular stomps in the Helix just fine. Um, if you guys don't know how to do that, it's pretty easy. Maybe I'll just show you how to do that quickly as well. But what I wanted to show you today is how to do this with snapshots. A lot of people want to know about snapshots and how they can make snapshots momentary where it's changing, you know, multiple parameters, amp parameters, pedals turning on and off, effects turning on and off, and doing it all at once. And you can do that in the snapshots. We are gonna do this with Command Center. If you haven't used Command Center, you're totally missing out because it literally is like the cheat code for the Helix. I have a whole video showing you how to use it with snapshots and setting up a good, um, if you wanna call it a pedal board now, a good pedal board for you to do whatever you want with. You can have snapshots, pedals, pro pro parameter changes, presets, you can do whatever you want in the Command Center, just setting up your pedal board the way you want it. It's unlimited customization, it's awesome. So if you haven't seen that, check out the video above and then come back here and check this one out. So momentary snapshots. I'm gonna first show you how to do this on the HX Edit. So the desktop editor for your Helix. If you want to see me do it on the physical unit, I'm gonna have that at the back end of the video. I will link a time code in the uh, description. So let's go to HX Edit and let's make a momentary snapshot. So first thing we do here in HX Edit, we are going to open our command center. Right there, okay, this is our nice command center window. Let's select a foot switch. So on this preset, I have a few switches available. I'm gonna use this guy. So for this, I now wanna select what this is gonna do. So I'm gonna go down to HX Snapshot. I have press release. So that means that when I press and release, something's gonna happen. So now when I press it, I want a different snapshot to pop up. So let's say I wanna press it and go to snapshot one, and I release, I wanna to go to snapshot two. And I'm gonna set that here. And that's quite literally it. We're done. Good video, right? So now, if you look at the physical unit, this video here, you'll see that now when I press and hold, the snapshot stays on for as long as I hold it, and then once I release it, it goes back to your previous snapshot. It can be the previous snapshot, or it can be any other snapshot. So something that I would like to see in maybe a future update for this is a return. So I initially thought that previous, when you set this up for previous, that it would go to the previously pressed snapshot, but previous just means it goes back one number. So if you're on snapshot three, it'll take you to two, two will take you to one, and then next will take you from two to three, three to four, etc. So if anyone from Line 6 is watching this for a suggestion, I think it'd be really cool to have a return just like you have in your regular global settings. You can set up a snapshot to return after you press it twice. If you double press it, it goes back and forth to the one that you started on. So I think that would be cool to have in the command center here as a return so that um, you can go back to where you came from. So now with that, something worth noting that you're gonna need to pay attention to is that your release needs to be where you want it to wind up. So if you wanna go back and forth and toggle, so it's like you press it, it goes on, you let it go, and it goes off back to where you were, you need to make sure that your release is set to the snapshot you started on. So if I'm starting on snapshot one, 
then I need my press to take me to two and I need my release to take me to one. So now, for example, if I set this up the wrong way and I'm now on snapshot three, when I press this down, it's gonna take me to two, but when I release, it's going to take me back to one. That's where I would like a return feature where it can return you to the previously used snapshot. I think that would be a cool thing to add. Let me know what you think. All right, so let's go in and clear this. I'm gonna clear that. Now we are going to do this on the physical unit. I got it up here on my desk, you might've seen before. And we are going to go into doing this right on the board. So first we have our regular snapshot view. This is kind of where I operate in my snapshot view. So I'm gonna hit my mode button. When you hit your mode button, it takes you into pedal board mode and you should see some blank strips. Maybe you have some pedals around here, some stomps. But right now I'm gonna focus back here where I have a blank one. So we have our little menu button. We're gonna to go to command center right here, push that down. And now you have your command center. So you see that this foot switch is now highlighted since that's what I was clicking on. And now for foot switch three, I'm going to scroll this over. These are all your different options. And I'm going to go to snapshot. I have press release for my behavior. And when I press it, what do I want to happen when I press it? I want snapshot two, which is my crunch. And when I release it, I want it to go to snapshot one, which is cleaner. Hit home and we're good. So now wherever I am, I have this set. Oh, let's go here so you can see it. You can see things turning on and off. That means it's taking me to snapshot two. And then when I release it, it's taking me to snapshot one. So I'll go through that again, just because that was, it's like too easy to do this. Right here, HX snapshot, double check that it says snapshot. Press release is your behavior. When you press it, you want it to go to crunch. When you release it, you want it to go to cleaner. By the way, these are from my Placator Power preset. This is just an example of the snapshots that I have on here. So that's literally it. It's that easy to get momentary snapshots in your Helix. All you need to do is get into your command center. Like you just saw in the video, I showed you both. HX edit and the uh, the hardware version, whichever way is more comfortable for you. Any questions on this, let me know in the comments and uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.